So I'm Eric Nost. I'm a PhD student in geography here at UW. And I'm interested in why is it that each individual snowflake is unique. I'm Pao Wang. I'm a professor of atmospheric and oceanic sciences in uh, UW-Madison. The two most important uh, factors that influence the shapes, one is the ambient temperature, and the other is uh, humidity. Uh, and uh, since the snowflake need to uh, grow under the condition of super saturated environment. So we often say temperature and the super saturation are the most important factors that influence the shapes. I think the people think that, you know, the folklore says that there are two snowflakes look exactly alike. I think that's just a fancy way of saying that there are thousands of these different shapes and people are always amazed that uh, the shapes can be so complicated and so different. Uh, in reality is that uh, if you just look by bare eyes, uh, you can certainly see two snowflakes look almost exactly alike. For example, some of the very simple hexagonal plates. Uh, they are just like uh, very uh, simple plates without too much designs on the surface. Now, if you insist to look into the structure using microscopes, of course you can see somewhat different uh, structures, yeah, but the uh, difference uh, probably not perceptible by just bare eyes. Uh, but uh, certainly there are so many different shapes that the uh, chances of seeing exactly two similar snowflakes are, are small, uh, although not zero, but uh, most likely you're going to see many, many different shapes. And I think that's why people are amazed to see so many uh, different communications there.